The Lord be with you. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to John. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, Truly, truly, I say to you, if you ask anything of the Father, he will give it to you in my name. Until now, you have asked nothing in my name. Ask, and you will receive, that your joy may be fulfilled. I have said this to you in figures. The hour is coming when I shall no longer speak to you in figures, but tell you plainly of the Father. In that day, you will ask in my name, and I do not say to you that I shall ask the Father for you. For the Father himself loves you because you have loved me and have believed that I came from the Father. I came from the Father and have come into the world. Again, I am leaving the world and going to the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning, everybody, and how are you? We thank the good Lord for this day once again, for his blessings, his favor, his protection, his guidance, and of course, for his banner over us, which is love, that despite whatever is happening in our world, in the country, in the, in the global uh, global uh, uh, the global world, we are still here. We still thank God. We are still breathing. The word of God that comes to us today is about Jesus telling us about his going to the Father. Of course, in the church's calendar on Thursday, we celebrated the ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, of course, that feast is being moved to Sunday, which is tomorrow, which will be actually having that big celebration in the universal world, or universal church, the ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ, who actually has gone to the Father to prepare a place for you and me. But Jesus is saying today that being away is not being absent. I repeat, being away is not being absent because he's still very much present. And that is why he has said to us that wherever two or three are gathered in my name, there I am in their midst. And you have to know that at any point, anywhere, any moment the name of the Lord is called, he is truly there. Because at his name, every knee will bow and every tongue confess. His name is so powerful that his name commands his person. I repeat, his name commands his person. Meaning that uh, his name is him. And that is why he's saying today, if you ask anything of the Father, he will give it to you in my name. Because it will be as if he is the Son who is asking the Father. So if you are asking anything from God in the name of Jesus Christ, he is going to grant you. Of course, in another part of the scripture it says, whatever you ask me in my name, I will give to you. You see, his name cannot be detached from his person. So when you call the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, he is right there. Uh, we don't have to be like a friend, it's like a joke uh, of a pastor actually who was saying uh, the name of the Lord is very important. And he said, whatever is happening in your life, call the name of Jesus. When you are in trouble, call the name of Jesus. When you are disappointed, call the name of Jesus. When you are heartbroken, call the name of Jesus. So he kept saying that, you know, okay, and he was raising up his hand as I'm raising up my hands. But he forgot that there was a fan, you know, and, uh, and that, was, uh, that was blowing him right above him. And by the time he said, call the name of, then the fan just caught his finger. Guess what? This pastor did not call the name of Jesus. He called the name of another God entirely. 
you know but you see what we are saying actually is that uh, well it should not be what we say out of our mouth if you actually know the name uh, uh, how important it is and how relevant it is to call the name of jesus you will call it truly and when you call the name of jesus jesus is right there and so he said i have said this to you in figures the hour is coming i shall no longer speak to you in figures but i tell you plainly of the father uh, in that day you will ask in my name and he said i'm not saying that i'm going to ask for you i'm not going to ask for you you will ask but in my name god is going to do it and the name of jesus is not just for christian alone the name of jesus is a global name we can all call the name of jesus and that is what you see in the festival of today when we talk about apollo apollo of course we know was a, a, compa a, a companion of saint paul in the missionary journey you know through galatians and the rest but Apollo was described by, of course, he was an Alexander, meaning from around Egypt, meaning he's uh, African. And then he was so eloquent. And not just eloquent, he was endowed with the knowledge of Christ. Yet, we were told he was only baptized of John the Baptist. And when he talks about his baptism of John the Baptist, it's like he has not been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. It means that the person has not even received the Holy Spirit. But he was still full of the Spirit of God that he could proclaim the name of Jesus. And just like Jesus Christ was saying today, that if you have believed me, so he believed in God, he believed in Christ, and he proclaimed it with all his might. Apollo, if you know him very well, was actually, <clears throat> you know, there was a time St. Paul was saying, stop saying I'm for Paul and for Apollo because we are all working for the same Lord. Because it's not about us, it's about Christ himself. So this Apollo was also, according to Martin Luther, was, uh, uh, was said to be the author of the, Acts of, um, the letter to the Hebrews or the Acts of Apostles. But we know that there are many writings that actually we do not know exactly who, who they are because there are many characters in those writings. But apart from that, we just know that he was a very good Christian and is a saint today. So, we all also have to be eloquent. We have to be spirited. We have to be ready to proclaim the word of God. You don't have to be priest to preach Jesus Christ. You don't have to be a religious person, a religious priest or religious or sisters or brother before you can preach Jesus Christ. That Christ himself has called you is enough for you to go out and proclaim him. Not just in your word of mouth, but also, most importantly, through your actions that people can see God in you. But again, we are glad Christ is telling us today, whatever you ask in my name. And I pray that all of us will be more conscious of this, that even during this COVID-19, who will all follow our news and call the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, that our hearts and soul, our mind and body will be healed, that our land will be healed, that our environment will be sanctified, that the secret behind this coronavirus will be revealed. That's my prayer, actually. The secret behind it will be revealed in the name of Jesus. Because at the name of Jesus, every knee will bow and every tongue confess his lordship. Again, he has assured you and me today, whatever you ask the Father in my name, the Father will do it because his name commands his person and his name is the most powerful, his name is the most called, his name is very, very much bringing in his presence into our lives. Again, whatever you are going through today, as you're listening to me, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray that that trouble you are going through will be discarded. 
and uh, whatever it is that is worrying you will be over with and whatever you have asked in the name of Jesus Christ you will receive today and not just today all the days of your life through Christ our Lord amen